Hi Tubers! Alright, here we are with our next book review. This one, as stated in the last video, is my all-time uh, personal favorite Cheryl and Kenyon book. Uh, probably because it's one of the few uh, Italian Dark Hunters in her series. Um, the next book for up for review is Seize the Night. Uh, allow me to read the back panel. Hail, glorious reader. I was born the noble son of a legendary Roman senator. I walked through the ancient world as a general, admired and supreme, until a, bleh, until a brutal, brutal betrayal caused me to bargain my soul. Now I'm an immortal dark hunter bound to protect mankind from the evil scor scourge that haunts it. Over the centuries, I've seen many frightening things. Plagues, pestilence, disco music. <laughs> and now, Tabitha Devereaux. A human... She has trained herself to fight vampires every bit as capably as a dark hunter. Idiosyncratic and offbeat, she is my personal bane, and yet she beguiles me. <clears throat> there are only two small problems. She happens to be the twin of my mortal enemy's wife. More than that, Tabitha and her sister are being stalked by a power that will not rest until everyone she holds dear is dead. Unlike my dark hunter brethren, I rely on no one but myself. They spurned me and I turned my back on them. But <laughs> but the only way to save Tabitha and her family is to find some way to bridge a 2,000-year-old feud. They say opposites attract, but they can't, can they say, can they stay together even when fates conspire to tear them apart? Then again, the fates have never dealt with the likes of Tabitha Devereaux before. They're going to be in for quite a fight. Valerius Magnus. Now... As you can tell from the back of the book, Val sounds a little stuck up and not like somebody I would actually associate with, considering I all but professed my undying love for Magnus in uh, the Bane Chronicles. But he is Roman, so that helps. He is of my ethnicity, because I am Italian. Well, I'm many things, but I'm mostly Italian. Um, and Tabby is just... Tabby. <laughs> She's what I aspire to be. She doesn't care what anyone thinks about her. She dresses how she wills, does what she will. She is just such... I can't even put Tabitha into words. <laughs> um, but she and Valerius are the main characters of this book. He, a 2,000-year-old Roman general, sworn enemy of her twin sister's husband, who was a Greek general. Hmm. Can we imagine why they're not friends? <laughs> no, there's more to it than that, but you have to read the book to find out. Um, they really do, Val and Tavi really do kind of knock heads at first, mainly because she stabs him uh, in her defense. She thought he was one of the bad guys. <laughs> they're all in her defense. They're all tall, dark, and fanged. <laughs> um... But, um, as different as they are, that's what pulls them together. He brings her down to earth, she opens him up. Um, and he needs it because as a Roman in an army filled with Greek soldiers, he's not really all that liked. I mean, there are others among them who aren't Greek or Roman, but they were also kind of, you know conquered by the Romans, so it kind of makes them a little less likely to take Val's side of things. Um, but as Valerius gets to know Tabitha, he makes it his mission to do anything and everything he can to protect her. Made all the more difficult by the fact that, one, the bad guy is non-corporeal, and two, he's still in love with a woman he never actually spoke to from back when he was still human. Um... Yeah, Val's got his share of problems, but Tabby's got her share of problems. So, um, highlights to this book would have to be the banter between Val and Tabby. I mean, it there's just nothing like it. I mean, there obviously in every book, all the heroes and heroines have their own banter, but I don't know. There's just something for me about Val and Tabby that makes it so much more. Maybe it's because I connect so much to them. I'm not sure because, you know, he's Italian. She's insane like I am. Um, but it just, for, for me, their, their banter is just so much more. And them themselves, pardon me, 
them themselves are a definite highlight to the book for me. Um, I love reading these two. I've read this book so many times I don't even know. Um, prose would be the storyline. It is a very good storyline and I like how they begin to bridge the gap between Valerius and Tabby's brother-in-law. They don't fix it completely. She doesn't fix Sherry doesn't fix it completely in this book. Um, she doesn't. Um, not to mention another relationship that starts to get repaired is the Dark Hunter from our last book, Zarek, is the biological brother of this Dark Hunter. And they had a very, very... Zarek was a slave in Valerius' household, put it that way. They're half-brothers um, via their father. So they had very different upbringings, and Valerius used to do whatever he could to protect Zarek, but unfortunately it always ended in Zarek getting hurt, so Zarek used to blame Val for that, and they have come a long way. So that's another relationship that starts its mend in this book. Um, the cons of the book... I don't really have any. I love everything about this book, even reading Valerius's past, even seeing how Tabitha's treated because she's different, it it all makes them who they are and it's a comforting reassurance that no matter what you go through in your life you can come back from it. Um, so I really don't have any cons for this book. Um, really Orion? I don't have any cons for this book. Um, overall review is Sherilyn you are a master at writing you are our goddess your Kenyan minions love you to pieces I love you to pieces um, meeting you was one of the highlights of my life um, and it's it's just such a, it's all of her books are just such they just grab you and pull you in and there is no exit out of the Dark Hunter universe. You can try. You can put the books down. You can walk away. But you will come back to them at some point. Um, again, it is a very mature book uh, with smut. So I would um, just at least 16 before you let somebody crack this open. Um, it gets a 10 out of 10 every time. <laughs> Every time. Tavi and Vela get a 10 out of 10 every time. Um, and that is my review for Seize the Night. And I hope you like it. Uh, I hope you go out and enjoy it and get addicted to it, just like I did with said with Zarek's book. Um, and yeah, that is it. Up next for our next review is the first book in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. City of Bones. And I can't wait to share it for you and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!